This country isn't yours. You don't own it. It never was. There is no real America. You don't own it. Jon Stewart has never been shy about speaking the truth to power or to pundits, even when it's right to their faces. Mediaite presents Jon Stewart's Best On Air Battles. Number 8. Jon Stewart Calls Out Congress For Not Showing Up For 9 11 First Responders. That getting health care and benefits for 9 11 first responders has come to. Behind me, a filled room of 9 11 first responders, and in front of me, a nearly empty Congress. Sick and dying, they brought themselves down here to speak to no one. Why this bill isn't unanimous consent and a standalone issue is beyond my comprehension. They responded in five seconds. They did their jobs with courage, grace, tenacity, humility. 18 years later, do yours. Thank you. Thanks. Number seven, John Stewart confronts a state senator on loose gun legislation and rising gun crimes. Are you familiar with the 39-year-old woman in New Jersey? I'm familiar with a ton of anecdotes. Yeah. I'm no, asking not, you a simple this question. This is not an anecdote, When John. the police this actually happened. go to a house. She had a restraining order on her ex-boyfriend. I can run through I know, we can hundreds through and hundreds of examples mm -hmm. of women killed by their domestic partners by guns that were not taken away through uh, uh, the lessening of red flag laws. You're pivoting but to tonight, anecdotes. No, this is not anecdotes. What the police say, if we had gun registration, if we were able to track purchases, if we are, they have a technology that every bullet would be stamped with an individual like a fingerprint. If we had an ATF that wasn't defunded, we would be able to enforce gun laws more effectively and we would be able to solve gun crimes more effectively. You're against all of that. Because the person is the threat, not the firearm, not the knife. I get the, it. The person and the individual Great. is the one that is the concern Great. here. But you don't want anything that could help law enforcement or society determine whether or not a person is a good guy with a gun or a bad guy with a gun. Most the even registry law enforcement. would allow you to have much more effective background checks. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why you won't just admit that you are making it harder for police to manage the streets by allowing all of these guns to go out without permits, without checks, and without background stuff. Number six. Stewart spoofs Glenn Beck while delivering a lesson on China. China is the new goal. Why do you think there's so many Maoists hanging around the White House? <laughs> you don't see it, do you? You still don't. Follow me, America. It turns out that progressives advocating for government regulations on toxins in water and our children's toys turns us into China. <laughs> The very country that has been putting toxins in water and our children's toys. So how do we get back from China? Be a conservative libertarian who follows the rules of God. Hmm. Hmm. John. Hmm. Hmm. What would that look like? What could that, what could that possibly look like? What could you possibly have that would look like that? Oh, I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> With libertarian Penn Jillette and conservative Alex B. Keaton. Number five. After a week attacking CNBC's lead up to the 2007 financial crisis, Stewart clashes with Jim Cramer. I can't reconcile the brilliance and knowledge that you have of the intricacies of the market with the crazy bull I see you do every night. There's a market for it and you give it to them and I think There's we a do market for cocaine and hookers. Well you knew what the banks were doing, and yet were touting it for months and months. The entire network was. And so now to pretend that this was some sort of crazy once-in-a-lifetime tsunami that nobody could have seen coming is disingenuous at best and criminal at worst. Number four, Stewart asks why Arkansas won't listen to medical organizations on trans rights. 
Parents with children who have gender dysphoria have lost children to suicide and, and depression. And they absolutely Because it's have. acute. And so these mainstream medical organizations have developed guidelines through peer-reviewed data and studies. And through those guidelines, they've improved mental health outcomes. So I'm confused why you follow AMA guidelines and AAAP guidelines for all other health issues than Arkansas, because we checked, but not for this. You're making it sound like a nine-year-old walks into a doctor's office and says, give me some testosterone. And the doctor goes, oh, thank God, because we're wanting to create an army of transgenders because we're crazy. And they go right in like... No, we passed a law to protect the children in Arkansas. And I think that's what is important. Again, the medical community disagrees with you that well, that's protecting children. Well, not all of the children. medical community. Who doesn't? Who well, we do, who... have had experts testify here in Arkansas. Okay. From what medical organizations? Well, we have all of those in our briefs. And I apologize that I wasn't prepared to have a Supreme Court argument today in front of you. But I, we are going to have arguments on this case. Right. Uh, Number three, Stewart took over Stephen Colbert's news desk to call Trump and Republicans on their performative patriotism. This country isn't yours. You don't own it. It never was. There is no real America. You don't own it. You don't own patriotism. You don't own Christianity. You sure as hell don't own respect for the bravery and sacrifice of military, police, and firefighters. Trust me. I saw a lot of people. I saw a lot of people on the convention floor in Cleveland with their Blue Lives Matter rhetoric who either remained silent or actively fought against the 9-11 First Re Responders Bill reauthorization. I see you and I see you. Number two, The Daily Show stages a debate between George W. Bush and himself. We're going to have an honest, open debate between the President of the United States and the one man we believe has the insight and the cojones to stand up to him. <laughs> Thank you, Governor. Mr. President, you won the coin toss. The first question will go to you. Why is the United States of America using its power to change governments in foreign countries. We must stand up for our security and for the permanent rights and the hopes of mankind. Well, certainly that represents a bold new doctrine in foreign policy, Mr. President. Governor Bush, do you agree with that? Yeah, I I'm not so sure the role of the United States is to go around the world and say this is the way it's got to be. <laughs> All right, well, that's interesting. And number one. Stewart's famous battle with Tucker Carlson on his own show that eventually got it canceled. I think you're a good comedian. I think your lectures are boring. Let me ask you, let yeah. me ask you a question on the news. Now, this Sorry. is theater. I mean, it's, it's it is, obvious. No, no, it is. How old are you? 35. And you wear a bow tie. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. To actually get politicians really John off Stewart? of their marketing anyway? and strategy. Yeah, it's someone who watches your show and cannot take it anymore. <laughs> I just can't. What's it like to have dinner with you? It must I'm be just... excruciating. Do you like lecture people like this? Or do you come over to their house and sit and lecture them? And, you know, they're not doing the right thing, that they're missing their opportunities, evading their responsibilities? If I think they are. Look, <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat with you, man. That's horrible. I know, and you won't. In their mind, the ends justify no, John, the means. I, 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 I hate the show. show at all. I, I, mean, I do think you're more fun on your show. Uh, just my opinion. But can, can okay. you say just that? Yeah, John Stewart goes one you know what's on one interesting with his though? fans. You're as big a on your show question. as you are on any show. <laughs> will The Daily Show desk host another classic clash? Only time will tell if anyone has the guts to show up. For more videos like this, subscribe to Mediaite on YouTube.